Games, games. Aren't you excited to play some games? Even if it's with me? Like I had mentioned in the previous video, part 11 of the 11 part series, this is part 12 to the 11 part series. And we're gonna be talking about some of the TI-99 4A games that were on the, uh, uh, the final Grom cartridge that we got. The final Grom cartridge is a cartridge that allows you to gather all of the, essentially the games and utilities onto one SD card and you have access to the, your entire library on one cartridge. So we're going to be going through some of those, looking at that. And uh, if you recall, when we originally did the TI Invaders, uh, that, that uh, ill-fated TI Invaders video, where I uh, struggled to get through two waves of TI Invaders, I had to do that with the, I didn't have a joystick. I had to do that with the, the, the uh, keys on the, the keyboard. Managed to get it done, but uh, there was a problem there. So uh, so what to do? I mean, I am of the joystick era, right? We, everybody had joysticks. And so the uh, the TI apparently had its own set of joysticks. They, they were, they were not necessarily well thought of. So, yeah, they had these actual, I, you can still find them. You can still find original TI 994A joysticks. But uh, when I started looking around at those, I heard some complaints. And uh, as is typically the case, the, the developer in the hobbyist community came up with a solution. So what would be what would be a solution in this case would be to find the de facto joystick standard for home gaming from that era, and that of course was the Atari 2600 joystick. Now I can tell you from experience, a lot of experience, many hours of experience in going through many different joystick controllers, because you know th those Atari uh, 2600 joysticks they they were used widely used. But they also had problems. They were eventually they wore out and they broke and they they had to be replaced. I can't even tell you how many of those joysticks my brother and I went through. So I actually had one. I had an, an Atari joystick uh, that was in the attic, and I think I sold it a while ago. But for all I know, it might still be up there. There's, you know, it's the attic, right? So I didn't necessarily know where it was. So you know, back to the internet to find a. Uh, now, well, you know, who's who's selling Atari 2600 joysticks or Atari 2600 compatible joysticks? Well, I found this one. See that? Isn't that fancy? It's got like the, the retro 70s. It's got double buttons on there. It's got uh, beveled uh, edges on the corners so that when you're holding it, it works out really well. This, uh, this particular one uh, comes from Hyperkin, and uh, it it is well thought of let's put it that way so i i went and got one of these but whereas the the port that particular uh connector would work on the ti 994a the wiring wasn't the same you know the the uh the pins the little holes there they were not the same as the ti 994a like i had mentioned previously this plug that the that comes on this particular uh controller will fit into the TI, like so. It looks like you're good to go, right? But the pins don't map properly and it doesn't wind up working. So what we're gonna wind up doing is replacing that direct connection with this remapping. That's what this component does, is it remaps the pins. So I'm going to plug this in and show you how it works. So you have to get an adapter if you want to use one of these old Atari 2600 joysticks with your TI-994A. So of course, back to Arcade Chopper, and I got this, this convenient little component here. This plugs into your TI-994A, you plug that in, and then you get two uh, places to put Atari. Uh, 2600 compatible controllers. So I could have gotten two of these and played games with them. I just got one and we're going to go ahead and plug this thing up and run through some games and let's see what's on that uh, let's see what's on that final ground cartridge and revel in the whole retro thing. Q James Earl Jones from Field of Dreams. Oh, they sat when they were children and cheered their heroes and they watched the game it'll be as if they dipped themselves in magic waters the memories will be so thick they'll have to 
brush them away from their faces. The explanation, these, uh, like I'd mentioned, the pins for the, this is for the TI deck, so you plug that in, right? And so what you have to do is you have to map the pins for the Atari there, the Atari controller. You have to map those onto the pins for the TI-99R4A. Now you can go online and you can find that. That's, that is uh, this diagram here. There's, there's, a, there's a way that those pins map. And that's what this, this circuit board does. It maps the pins for the TI-99R4A to the, to the Atari. So that's what that winds up doing. Nice little component, Arcade Shopper. Uh, they are continuing to provide all kinds of retro goodness out there. So I highly recommend you visit them. It's always a good idea to start with a little bit of a retrospective. So, you know, what we learned when we were doing the, uh, when we were doing the 11 videos there and we finally got to the place where we could surf the internet, we found that the, uh, the internet uh, has kind of outstripped the hardware capabilities of these old machines. Like we had mentioned, the, the, all the work that uh, the great Stuart Connor had put into his browser, well, it, it still had limitations. You know, it could not consume and display the many of the pages that were on the, uh, the modern internet because those pages were just too large and used uh, technologies that the platform, the TI-99 for a platform could handle. I think it's relevant to talk about that right now because we're about to take this retro uh, trip through gaming from the early 80s. And it might be hard for some of my uh, dear viewers out there to to resonate and understand well, what, what, what what's so special about these games. Why would anybody want to look at this stuff? It looks kind of primitive. And we talked about how far that deviates from what the modern internet is and the you know the modern world, world wide web. You, you got four gigabyte pages, which is just orders of magnitude off. So we've got this, uh, it's not four gigabytes, it's four megabytes. Get, get that right. Okay, good. So four megabytes in size. It's still orders of magnitude off. So uh, we, we've got a problem there, right? We have to scale back the pages so that they'll fit onto the platform. So you can imagine that the games that we're going to play are going to be scaled back. They're going to be a little bit more primitive. Okay, so to plug in our new component, we're going to go with the side port on the, uh, the TI here. The side port is accessible, and there is one on the back, but you can't use it. The, uh, the, the component here actually winds up getting in the way of the power jack. So whereas the back would be out of the way, it's inaccessible to us. We'll use the side because we are adaptable. We're absolutely unstoppable that way. Now, I know that this fits in kind of loosely, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to plug in my joystick to this first and then plug it into the side. Well, not much to this. You've got two places for controllers, so you can play two player games. That's important, right? Let's plug one of these in. Simple. So simple, even I can pull that off. And to plug it into the TI, It says a little bit loose there, but that should work fine. So let's play some games. Okay, any key to begin? Two for final ground. And let's go to games. Let's see. Now all these games to choose from. Let's just start running through some of them to see what we find. For a flyer is G. This one you might actually have to play with the keyboard. Well, for a flyer, I'm not sure how to play you, my friend. Abort. Amazing. All right. A couple cats in there. I assume you can't get past those cats. Invisible maze. Let's go. No cats. Okay, sweet action. Let's see what, let's see what happens here. I'm gonna make it. I'm gonna make it. Freedom. Forty-one seconds. Uh, I didn't know there was a timer. I for adventure. 
Scott Adams adventure. Oh, I don't think I have a data base. Is that different than a is that different than a database? F U D G Well, there's no no such device. G for Alpiner. One or two players. Name. Well, what other name am I going to use? Tony. Hmm. I wonder how many characters you get here. I bet you don't get enough to do Turd Ferguson, so I'll just leave it as Tony. Okay. Let's go. I'm not going to hit that snake. That's dangerous. Tree. Got to stay out of that way. There's a bear. Oh my gosh. Bears. A uh, fire. Bet you that would hurt. Well, that was pretty easy. That was darn easy. Okay. Well, so far, so good, right? Ah. Oh. Oh. No, no, no. He's falling. He's falling. K for ambulance. Funware Incorporated. Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to go pick up that person in a flashing building there. See, now it's... Fl oh, well, gee whiz. Okay, I can do this. I can do this. I'm going to get one person back to the hospital. Whoa, 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 whoa. There. Yeah, got 200 points. Yeah, nice. L for Ant Colony. Okay. 0.5. Hey, one time I had this manager. This is preliminary. Oh, no. <laughs> He's fun where people again. One moment, please. You might hear in the background my wife and daughter talking. 9584. What's going on here? What's going on here? 98. Hmm. <laughs> oh, jeez. Ah, wow, this is hard. Okay, nice game. M for Ant Eater. It's like the demo. Oh, it's a Dig Dug knockoff. Blackjack and poker. I'm great at cards. Okay, poker face. One thousand dollars, of course. Okay. Okay, bet. Okay. <laughs> Seventeen. Uh, Seventeen. Uh, should I hit? Hit me. Bust. Okay, I can do this. Eighteen. Yeah, hit me. Darn. Okay. Two and a jack. Better hold. Ah, oh, hit me. Okay, twenty. Twenty definitely got a hit. Darn. For sure that time. I'm losing money. Two and six. Should I hit? Should I stand? This this is where the strategy comes in. I probably should stand. I probably should stand because you know you never know if you're gonna get that that card that's worth like seventeen. So I'm gonna stand. I'm gonna stand. Lose. Okay, maybe I should go put a hat on because all the cool guys they wear hats. I noticed that. See, I noticed that uh, like old guys like me. If they want to look cool, they wear hats. Totally not to cover up their bald spot. But, you know, and so in this case, I got went and got the hat. You know, and now, now I'm cool. I'm losing money. How is this happening? Okay, three and a five. Okay, better stand. Better stand. Bet, 99, of course. 
Tune Queen. Hit me. Hit me. Nuts. $99 bet. 10. Queen. Got, got to hit me. Oh, yeah, got to hit. Darn. Maybe there's something about blackjack I don't understand. Blasto. It's like combat from the Atari. What the thing does is, you know, you've got to... Th these green dots are... It's, well, where there's no green dots, that's a trail. So you can ride on that at, on your tank. And then you have to blow up all the mines before the... I, th I think get as many of the mines before the timer there at the top runs down. But if you get too close to the mine when you shoot it... It blows up and it wipes your tank out. So like here, I had to fire and clear out one of those green things. Now I can fire and clear out the the mine. You notice it takes out a lot around it. Okay, this is boxer. This this is like almost like a real boxing match. I don't have much reach, so I bet you have to punch him in the head. Which is good because I, I don't know, like purple people anyway purple or whatever that color is boy I don't like those people I can't seem to be I can't seem to inflict any damage on this person I'm, I'm trying and apparently I've got one arm and apparently I'm on roller skates so one armed roller skating where brown people fight with blue people I would Technically, I'm red, which makes a lot of sense, I guess. So, I'm the red person fighting the blue person. So, this is apropos. That's the right kind of a season there. Okay, so, red person going for... Trying to knock out the blue person. That blue person... Oh, there we go. Okay, so... Okay, yeah, now I'm finally doing it. Oh, yeah. Ooh, geez, that looks painful. So... <laughs> So one armed boxers on roller skates and apparently it's like it's all about politics because we've got the red versus the blue here and I'm trying to break their neck. Breakthrough double exclamation point. Oh well, yeah, this looks familiar. This looks familiar. <laughs> kind of terrible at this. Buck Rogers. Now it's a fancy splash screen. Buck Rogers, Planet of Zoom. Sega. Neat. Okay. Ah, you've got to go between the uh, pylons. Got it. Okay. Ooh, whoops. Hmm. I am not terribly good at this game. <laughs> Tough game, jeez. Burger Builder. Any key to continue? Got to be a Burger Time knockoff. Yeah, yeah, that's what it looks like. Okay. So you want to try to trap those... Uh... Hmm. Whoa. Ah, jeez, I got hit. Burger Time is G. Key to begin... Looks nicer. Well, the, the person moves a lot slower. Finish off a burger here. Okay, I can totally finish this off. The uh, controls are rough on this game. Kind of touchy. Card sharp. I can smoke cigars. And wear a hat. Stud poker and blackjack. Okay, let's try stud poker this time. Everybody's anted up. Okay. Bet in ten. Okay, got a couple. Of, <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna bluff him. I'm gonna bluff him. Cause you know, the card that I got is probably gonna beat those two aces. Because I could, like that one card, I could have two fives in, in, like, I wonder if that's how that works. Like, could my five of hearts, could I take the ten of hearts and make, and like, make that two five of hearts? That way I'd have three fives of hearts and I'd beat the two aces. I think I'm going to opt for that. 
Oh man, I'm gonna crush it. I'm absolutely gonna win this hand. I can tell. I can. Uh, yeah, man, I've got a like. I've got a raise. So how can you raise? I think I'm the one making the bet now. So I'm. Gonna... Oh, wait a minute. So my. It's so two of a kind beats nothing. Is that how cards work? Car wars. Mm. Pac Man. Fancy seeing you around here. Present a key to begin. It's chicken. <laughs> okay, so that didn't work. Fine. How do you know? Oh, that's a tough game. All right, Centipede. All right, let's see what Centipede is like on the TI 994A. Oh, that's not bad. Pretty decent control. Overall, the control's not too bad. It's actually a pretty decent version of it. Doesn't look as good, but who cares? Play, play Centipede. Much better. Much better. Ah. Shoss Uwampus. I look that up. I think that's actually the way you say that. Shoss Uwampus. <laughs> awesome. Uh, oh, what's happening? What's happening? So when do I surrender in the game? <laughs> that joke never gets old. Okay. Uh, what just happened? I guess that's the Wampus. What happened? Did I win? Uh, okay. Darn you French people in your French games. Chicken coop. Chicken coop. I don't know. One or two players. There's any key for level one. Hard. Okay. They, what did I turn into an egg? Nuts. Ah. Okay. So you hit the chicken from above, turn it into an egg, and then you hit the egg and you win the level. M for Chisholm Trail. Look at the splash screen. I'm wondering if I'm going to die of dysentery sometime soon. Uh, wow, what's this? Dang. And computer war. DEFCON 5. Uh, what just... Not sure. Oh, oh, I see what's going on. So you got that that one like example you're supposed to find. There it is, right there. Okay, you got that little pattern you're supposed to match. I <laughs> didn't like that. I don't. I don't think it like that. Congo Bongo eight zero oh. Let's see what we got here. Slow reveal. Hmm, nice. <laughs> what just happened? I think I died. Huh. Okay. So in Congo Bongo, you are the intrepid explorer. You are dressed in your jungle adventures here. You're dressed in sterling white. Hmm. It's gonna die again. 
Like if I was going to go out and adventure in the jungle, I would wear completely white clothing. Connect four. Connect four on novice level. Crossfire. D station one and two. D station's got to be exciting, right? Okay, looks okay. Looks roughly like a. Missile Command uh, knockoff. I assume there's something about letting the bad guys land that's going to wind up being a bad deal for you. Too many people getting through. Wow, this is like hard. Too too much going on. Uh, if aliens do invade the Earth, I hope they're a little bit slower and you know at least give us a fighting chance like they do with space invaders. It, this is just impossible. D Station 1, almost impossible. Let's see if D Station 2 is any different. Okay, well, the other one was a little bit nicer. Uh huh. This has got more of the World War II theme as opposed to the space aliens thing. Wow, this is almost impossible. <laughs> Jeez. Ooh, almost impossible. That's hard. And on to page 3 of the Final Grom cartridge. Games Defender. I remember this one. Let's see how much how well, good it looks. One e one player easy. Press fire to start. Okay, so this is one player easy. I might be able to pull it off. I was never much of a defender player. Uh, there was nah nuts. Not bad though. You know what's kind of cool about this thing is uh, how fast it can reboot. We have grown accustomed to letting the machine come up, right? And loading everything it needs to load. This thing comes up, no time at all. Demon attack. Look at that beautiful splash screen. Looks like we're on the moon looking at Earth. Ah, somebody spent some time on that. Okay, wow. Well, that's this is a pretty game. You can't fight them off when they're that close. Did I? Okay, I must have been like the first wave. Gee whiz. Okay, got him. This seems like I was doing okay on that, but that pretty game. Not necessarily a bad game, kind of fun to play. All right, let's play some Dig Dug. It's another one, I remember the days. Looks a lot like the uh, knockoff of the game that they created. What just happened? Looks like it rebooted. I guess it's because the, uh, I guess it had something to do with the fact that the animal escaped. Ah, oh, no way. Okay, Donkey Kong. I spent some money on Donkey Kong when I was a kid. Put some quarters in that game. Okay, you should expect greatness, dear viewer. I'm, hmm, that's terrible. People should be really disappointed. I'm sure that my uh, thriving fan base is greatly let down here. I mean, the the game itself looks fantastic. It's pretty much the way it looked. Dang, I thought for sure I could get up, save the lady, whatever her name is. Okay, looks like Dragon Flyer is next. Let's see what happens there. Hmm. So they turn to tens or something, and I I can't seem to figure out what to do with them after they turn to tens. Dragonfly, I don't know what you're trying to do to me here. Nuts. Okay, we're gonna do driving demon. Okay. Okay. Speedometer attack. 
Looks like you hit the uh, button to shift gears. Okay, I'm moving. Wow, gee, okay. That is maybe going too fast. So where am I on that long range scan? A lot to look at. There's a lot to look at on this game. I'm off. Okay. So you can't even let the wheels leave the road. Gotcha. E.T. the extra tur. I wonder what that could possibly be. Yeah, it looks good though. Nice splash screen. And E.T. looks an awful lot like Dig uh, Frogger. Frogger. George Costanza would be thrilled. Yeah, I remember this part. You can't jump on the... Ooh. Ah, uh, you can't jump on them when they're red. I knew that. I knew that. Okay, the f frog. So it looks like frog, frogger, and there are frogs on the screen. I wonder if that's on purpose. Okay, so there, there's one of them. What? <laughs> You're supposed to go home! Okay, so apparently the story is there's a bunch of ETs running around, and you've got to send them all home. Ah, that's kind of cool though. Good for a frogger knockoff. Escape. See what happens here. Ooh, one for stars of death, and two for pillars of gloom. Starting level one. Okay, what's happening here? I guess I'm going to go what? Stare. Whoa, whoa! What just happened? What? <laughs> what is going on? <laughs> What was that? What was that? What happened? Are you supposed to hit the bad guys or what? Damage is eight. Yeah, I'm not sure what's going on there. Face chase. It rhymes. Any key to begin? Do we want to go training? Uh, okay, I'm a big face. Hmm, so if you click the button as you go over him, you start flashing. Why am I flashing? I have no idea. I have no idea what's going on. You ready for fantasy? Fantasy. Start a ship at sea. Aye, aye, Captain. What are we doing here? Okay, we're the balloon. Okay, let's give this a shot. Okay, it looks like I landed on the ship. So this must be the ship's deck. What do you do now? Whatever's coming through that door is coming coming through fast and you just can't get away. Where do you go? One life left. All right. No idea, fantasy. You're not. Well, this is Fathom. And Magic. They they made some pretty games. Uh, what's going on? Okay, it looks like I'm that. What is that? It's a bird, I guess? Not sure. What's going on? But, okay. I don't understand what this is doing. Maybe that's all it's supposed to do. You're just supposed to act like you're flying? It's a bird. It's a bird. Hmm. Not a cool game. Okay, Frogger. Frogger by Parker Brothers. Looks pretty good. It's not doing... I don't see any frog. I don't see any grr. I don't see any frog grr. Well, it looks good. I just can't figure out how to play it. The uh, It's not responding to the controller. No frog? Okay, I have no idea. Hangman. Everyone likes playing Hangman. Let's go. That's good. Got it. Understood. Let me play. Uh, S R E A O. Hmm. T N. It's gotta be H. Hmm. P. Oh, expansion. Wow. Yay. I am the smartest man alive! Henpecked. Okay, I know how to play this one. 
you are the red hen I, I guess it's a hen and you try to hit the top of the other chicken turn it into an egg then you grab the egg and you win for some reason I'm not sure what the story behind this one is but that's how it works see get that easy R is hen house it's like a bunch of people running around you know what the world needs now another game in which you're a chicken do you what do you do here what do you do what am I doing here so you kill the uh, the birds and the squirrels was I supposed to hit that guy yeah I might have been a cop or something well I mean the last time I hit the dude I got 200 points so but you know I I think cops are worth more than that. No idea what's happening. There's a broken egg. That's not good. Hmm. Hopper. I wonder if this is a Frogger knockoff. Hopper. Oh, what's this thing doing? So you're like a squirrel or something and you move around the screen. And there's smiley faces with what looks like top hats on. I had a dream like this once. I don't understand what you're supposed to do. Page four of seven of the games. Hunt the Wumpus. Ah, that reminds me. Chasse a Wumpus. That had to be Hunt the Wumpus in French. Because you know... The Wumpus is, is the universal language, apparently. Maybe now that I can actually read what's on the screen, I will know. Yeah, yeah, that's the same thing. The hunt is about to begin, but be careful, okay? <laughs> that's good to know, because I, I had no idea. Scary teeth. And... So... If you push the button and and move the joystick then you shoot that direction that's what just happened okay so let's try this again okay that's the map I guess and I'm trying to find the wampus which I think is in the lower yeah it's in the lower right hand corner I'm kind of ex uh, obscuring it with my screen there I guess when you start seeing the red dots you know you're around the wampus and now on to hustle Okay, it's uh, looks like there's some racing there, although that might be that might be a might be a dog, which we know the Simpsons have told us we should think of as small horses. Okay, what's what is a snake? Okay, it's snake, and you try to get to the money, I guess, quick. Oh, it beat me to it. That's sad. Yeah, this is kind of cool. Simple. Oh. Oh, boy, I keep hitting other things. I am, okay, four seconds. I got four seconds. I'm clearly going to beat this uh, computer. So, there. Computer. I, okay, I will resign. Undefeated. Hustle champion. 2020. Jawbreaker. Sierra Online. Yeah, they made some great games. Okay. Flash. Disco. The tension is building. I mean, you can feel it. Like, wow, this is going to be awesome. It's not going to be an 8 bit pixelated nightmare. It's going to be incredible. Look at these graphics. Shout out to my Mug Club brothers. <laughs> Okay, it, it kind of... Okay, what's going on here? What is this? <laughs> what is this doing? <laughs> Whoa, what happened? Okay, so there are power pills here, and you can... Like, okay, good, got it. This is tough, man. Oh, what was I doing? This game's hard, man. Very cool, though. Okay, I'm going to clear the screen. Very cool. What happened there? Ah, uh, and you get your teeth brushed. Okay. Hygiene is important, kids. One to spare. Okay, I'm ready to go. Bring it on. Okay, I'm going to clear this screen. That's what's going to happen. 
Right, get my teeth brushed. Okay, got it. Looks like all the screens are the same. I imagine they speed up until you die. Jumpy. Okay, so we got a keyboard knockoff here. Press any key to play. Ready? Uh, well, okay, I wasn't very good at that, huh? Yeah, it's just hard to get used to the. Uh... Okay, I cleared the screen. But it is hard to tell where you're jumping. You gotta get used to the controller. I used to wonder when I was a kid and I was playing these games like if the computer thought I was just a dummy. Hmm. Apparently I am. Jungle hunt. That sounds dangerous. You never know what you're gonna run into in the jungle. Atari Soft. Okay. Let's see what happens here. Okay. Hmm. Oh, okay, you just push the button and he goes. <laughs> this guy's really got some upper body strength or something. This is how you travel through jungles. The only way you can travel through a jungle is by swinging on vines, apparently. Not that there's anything wrong with that. Ooh, water. Water's always dangerous. In the jungle, you could have... Oh, uh, messed that one up. Oh, I'm allowed to do that. Okay. Now I'm swimming with the alligators. Or the crocodiles. Or the crocogators. A lot. What just happened? Oh, you have to go. You have to uh, return to the surface to breathe. I didn't notice that. Okay, that's that's kind of a weird jump. It's kind of slow. You lead it much further than you would think you would have to do it. Okay, looks like the rock got bigger. All right. So what? Ha I wonder what happens when. Well, I can't let her, uh, well, uh, <laughs> this guy can really jump. So, clearly I don't want to jump into the fire. <laughs> I almost saved you there, uh, kiddo. Nuts. Junkman Jr. I think it looks like Donkey Kong. Uh, okay, no big thing. There's a dot going across the screen. It's slowly. Ooh, oh, okay. Apparently, you climb to the top of the ladder and then you just fall off. So don't climb to the top of the ladder. Make sure. Okay, yeah, 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 make sure. So I grab that. What is that? Is that dynamite? Ooh, oh, if I'd have known that, I'd have like jumped over. Okay, that that's bad news. I'm gonna die now. <laughs> That's a gruesome death scene, man. Uh, I didn't mean to do that. Ooh, split. Ooh, yeah. I can feel that from here. Bang. Ooh, ooh oh, 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 oh. I got the high score. So again, quitting undefeated. King of Castle? Oh, no. This is a copy of that other game. No, let's play Pillars of Gloom this time. One. Okay, well, it looks differently. So, the way this works is, I think what's going on here is you're on level zero. And then you go to, like, the next level. And you can get hit X number of times, but I'm not sure what you do from here. Now I'm back on the first floor. Why would I do that? I mean, how do you know whether you're going up or down? No idea what's going on in this game. Terrible game. Okay, let's see what MASH looks like. 20th Century Fox getting their cred in there. Welcome to Korea. Hmm. sure what's going on here. It's not letting me pick that person up, so I'm not sure what's going on. Am I trying to... I 
I, I think the intent is to like pick somebody up and take them back to here. Oh, I see how that works. And then they come after you. Interesting. You gotta push the button and hold it while you push up or down on the joystick. Draw the him away. And back to pick this dude up. And then there's more people that show up. Oh man, that's no fire. Okay, I've had enough. Make love, not war. Mancala. Ooh, it has numerous languages. Uh, someone came up with that. They just had to do that intro. Ooh, one sounds good. Mm -hmm. Okay. Stones. Three. Uh, they all look the same. Some kind of solitaire dominoes thing? Well, the computer is crushing me in this game. Clear indication that I am not a good Mancala player. The Agony of Defeat. Micro Pinball, I probably can play that. Okay. Thank you, continue. Nice, okay. How do you make the other flipper go? Okay. Not sure how you make the other flipper. <laughs> okay. Mmm, well, it's going to be a short game if I can't. Okay, I give up. Microsurgeon Eye Magic. That's clearly what the human head looks like when you cut it open. Okay, I spent a little time with this game and it's just, uh, it's complicated. Like there you can see you're in the liver, and if you, you get at the bottom you can see what is critical. So right now, the intestines are critical, so you got to go down the intestines and clear out the intestines. But you can see that the infection apparently is getting worse. And the status at the very top is the, the, the demarker, so when that status gets all the way over, you die. Ugh. I could never make it through med school anyway. All right, Midnight Mason. Redo to begin. Uh, okay, where am I? There I am. Guess you're somebody running through a structure, trying to avoid ghosts and grab things. Hmm. <laughs> Okay, so if you push the button, you build bridge, I guess. Hard game. Okay, mind challengers. Mind challengers. If I had a mind, would I be playing video games? I hope this isn't something that wants me to read. A memory match. Okay. I have no idea what's going on. Let's try Mind Grid. Moon Sweeper. A lot of moon games. Can you blame them? Now what's happening? Okay.
Okay. Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> wow. <laughs> this is hard. What, what am I doing? Am I trying to hit people? I think I'm trying to pick up the the uh, the black things are the people. I think I'm trying to pick them up. Not sure what that is. That's some kind of a warp. Okay, now I'm back above the surface. So I'm just going to stay up here for a bit. Let's go to the yellow one. Let's go to the yellow planet. Okay. I met Saturn, and I'm sweeping its moons, apparently. Muscatak. It's foreign. Okay, so apparently you have to use the uh, keyboard. That's looking pretty good. Oops. Nuts. Okay, screw this. Mr. Chin. Okay, looks vaguely racist. <laughs> What's he doing? <laughs> okay, so you gotta go over there and get another plate. So Mr. Chin is all about spinning plates. Oops, I didn't jump very good. So if I get all these plates spinning, what happens? Oh, okay. I'm on another level now. Yeah, I can't figure out how to get off of here. Hmm. Yeah, let's try to get a plate here. See if that helps. I'm not sure. Okay, okay that worked. That worked. Alright, so this should work here. Yay, I did it. We'll see what Miss Pac-Man looks like. Never really was a big Pac-Man person. That looks pretty decent. All the people out there that know the patterns, and I'm not even close to uh, operating the pattern correctly. Nuts. <laughs> Page five in Munchman. Ah, oh, it's like backwards. <laughs> it's got the T I think sir. Uh, ne never was a big fan of the Pac Man paradigm. It is uh, even harder to do this one. It'd be fast. I think it. I think it gets faster. Yay! Munchman Two, Electric Boogaloo. Munchman Two, Tokyo Drift. Okay, sweet. This is backwards. Like you. Now we're eating the chains or something. I guess these are chains. Well, the monsters are fast. The action's fast. It makes it hard to uh, control. I think I just went up a level. Didn't expect that. Munch Mobile. Munch Mobile. Okay, you can't leave the blue. Ooh, this is hard. We. No, about Munch Man. No, this is Munch Mobile. Sorry, sorry, didn't mean to offend the uh, the Munch gods. Okay, I made it. I made it. Nice, nice, nice. Nature's way. Nature's way. Nature's way. Ooh. Serene. 
you can't see it, but there's like uh, there's a couple flowers down there in the corner. I'm blocking it. Shame on me. Nice, huh? Okay. I kind of look like a flower, I guess. All right, let's see what this is, game's all about here. Let's see what this game's all about. Okay, you got to use the uh, controllers. Okay, so I'm a butterfly. And it appears to work left and right. But I'm having trouble making anything else work. Oh, the controller works. Okay. The controller works, so you're a butterfly. And what am I trying to do here? Maybe I'm just, maybe it's just like one of these Zen things where you're flying around. I don't see a way to make any points. Wait, what happened there? Ooh, wow, it's like a, a ton, it's a warp. So if you go too high, back on the ground. Hmm. I feel at peace. Neverlander, clap, 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 clap. Game looks nice. Get ready. Make me. Okay. Okay. Looks like you're trying to pick up asteroids? Where are you? Gotta avoid those things and not use up all your fuel. Okay. Trapped against the side there. Got hurt. Fuel. Nice. Past zone. Bonus points. Had a lot of fuel. Okay. Othello 5F. Indeed. Let me keep it again. Computer thinking. That's scary. Enter your coordinates. F5. I have no idea what I'm doing. Pac-Man? What in the world is that? Might be something about luggage. Yeah, it looks good. It's not the right pattern. I hate this game. Parsec. It's like a defender like game. Dang! Hit my photon missile. What are you talking about? Where? Pfft, I'm not seeing anything. Picnic. I wonder if this is going to be another one of those beatnik. Tree hugger, nature's way games. My bet is I'm going to be running around killing ants. Poor ants. Yep, there's ants. Okay, so. Ant. So I guess I'm supposed to. Huh. What are those ants taking my chicken away for? What's up with that? Put that down. Put it down. Put it down. Hey, I finally killed that fly. Terrible game. Yuck. On to pole position. Notice that sometimes you can, you have to hit the enter button on the keyboard and sometimes you can just hit the fire button, but it, it varies. All right, let's go. Hmm. I'm not sure if the, uh, I'm not sure if the, button does anything here if you pull back it looks like it slows it down speed 114 mile an hour zoom game over Popeye by Parker Brothers I remember this one from the arcade yeah it looks pretty good looks really good Right, let's go. Let's go. There you go. Go get him, Popeye. 
I guess Brutus is too big for you without the spinach. So let's see if we can get down the stairs. Uh, just brutal. Okay, why is he going up? I didn't ask you to go up, Popeye. I'm gathering hearts, but I'm not sure what they're doing for me. Ouch. Princess and Frog L. What are those? So I've got some snakes, some alligators. I've got a castle at the top. I'm trying to get to the castle. Alright, see what I can do here. Well, whatever those things. Ooh, ow. Whatever they are, I don't want them to hit me. Dang. Hey, you made it that far. All right, let's see if I can do this. Okay, so you gotta climb on the snakes. Unclear. So on the bottom, miss everything. On the top, you have to climb onto the snakes and the alligators. For some reason, snakes and alligators don't want to eat uh, frogs. Let's play protector. I will press enter to continue. I pressed fire on the joystick. That's not what they mean, apparently. I don't know how to make this game go. Darn. Hubert. Weasels can't see you when you're in the hole, and apparently they don't go into the holes, so you're safe as long as you're down there. Uh, apparently they do go in the holes. Okay. Return to Pirate Island. I it says return to Pirate is Pirates is. I wish it's Pirates Island. Printer. Return to Pirates Isle. Okay. With love to my mom, who made it all possible. Indeed. As you see is correct. Do not try to adjust your TV. Just use your adventuring skills. Good luck. Too dark to see. Adventure 14 by Scott Adams. Okay, I'm going to hide my screen. Too dark to see. Adventure 14 by Scott Adams for my mom. I yawn and stretch. I hear my alarm clock ring somewhere. Everything is not exactly dark, but it's too fuzzy to see. Command me. Look. Tech space adventure, maybe? Sorry, I can't. I hear an alarm clock ring somewhere. Everything is not exactly dark, but it's too fuzzy to see. Turn off alarm. Don't know turn. M. I don't know M. Eat. Sorry, I can't. I hear an alarm clock. Clock. Hmm. Lights. How? I hear an alarm clock ring. <laughs> How do you turn off the alarm clock? In as few letters as possible. Turn. Switch. Snooze. Well, apparently that alarm clock's going to go off for all eternity. Robotron 2084. 
that's a long time in the future. We're bound to have rubber bands that look like dinosaurs by then. Ooh. Uh, yep. This looks like Robotron. I remember that one. Uh, why is it not letting me? I guess you just gotta run. You can't shoot. Why are those people yellow? Yellow. Okay, got that person. There's another person over there. Gotta get that person. Ah, look at me figuring out what I'm doing. Ouch. They got me. New Robotron hero. Roto Raiders. Aid for rules. Our video games don't need your rules, man. They're rebels like me. Ah. Uh, looks familiar. Okay, let's eat us some dots. Not unlike packing away those dots. And so there's something making more dots. Why are they doing that? Why did the lights go out? Can you eat these things? Rotor Rainer. <laughs> so am I a plumber like cleaning out pipes? Is that what's going on here? These are rats. Wow, this is a thankless job. Of course, you know, being a plumber, that's that's a thankless job. Other than the money part. I wear my pants pulled all the way up at all times. Schnazola. Fun wear. Okay, if you say so. Let's see what Schnazola is doing here. Why is... What's happening? What's happening? Okay, I'm on the next level now. That's better. I think... Did I just do that? Uh, why did he jump off? Did, was there like a... There's a suicide button on here, apparently. Terrible game there, Schnozzola. Q-Bert. Page 6 of games. We play Seamus with an A. Seamus. Is that a command? Room 0, level... Black. Okay, there's a question mark. I guess I gotta go get that. And avoid the red things. And the red things appear to be attractive to me. How can you blame them? Most things are attractive to me. Okay, so you gotta get them to come after you. That didn't work. Hey, finally. Just wasn't working for some reason. Okay. Okay, now I can get it out of the first screen. Yeah. Doop. No idea why I wouldn't fire. Shanghai. That sounds exotic, doesn't it? A trip around the world. A concept. Ah, oh, education. But if I must. Cargo ships. Commodities. Buys and sells. Uh, wind is out of the east. Looks like there's a... Is that a police officer? Okay, you can't... You can't hit the other ships. But you can go over and, like, pick up the commodities, apparently. Okay, there's cargo. Let's see if we can get this other one over here. So I'm picking things up. I guess I have like five items I can pick up. And now I've got to, I guess, sell them. My cargo changed. Why did that change? Okay. And why is that one flashing? Okay, so they're buying. Apparently, they buy. Okay, they buy. Simon says. Yeah, I've had enough of that one already. Slimoids. That sounds 
gross, possibly. Okay. <laughs> no, ooh. They don't like me very much. They're fast, though. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Start. You got it. Okay, I'm a chicken. What's the chicken doing? I bet you the chicken wants to like eat things or something. Does the chicken want to get the rabbits? What is the chicken doing? Why is this doing this? When you press the button, the wings flap. There's two rabbits and there's a snake, and you're a chicken apparently. But the rabbits don't appear to be doing anything. Can't interact with them. Can you interact with the snake? No. So, what do you interact with? Uh, okay. No fun being a chicken. Check. Got it. Soccer. Murka. The red team versus the blue team. Team name. Goody. Goody. And Eddie. Length of game. Yes. Oh, 10 minutes. Cool. Okay, there it is. I'm blue. They're doing nothing. So I'm going to steal. This is pretty awesome. Foul. <laughs> they won't kick it. I never did like soccer. Sorgan 2. Much better than Sorgan 1. Looks like an organ to me. Octave, octave. Press a key. Chords. Octave. Let me hide my camera. Yeah, I probably need sound for this one. Okay, we won't be doing music today. Space Patrol. I hope they don't get in the way of the Moon Patrol. Galactic Cops and Robbers. Okay. Somebody's got to be Galactic Cops and Robbers. It might as well be me. Bad guys look like... Klingons, kind of. Uh, command. Hmm. Your ship has been destroyed. <laughs> this mission is over. Ooh. I'm afraid the robbers are ruling the galaxy, friends. Aid. Star base too far. Command. The cool thing is, is I didn't get killed. I think I might have blown up my star base, which is probably a bad thing. Spies demise. How bad could it be if it rhymes? It rhymes, it rhymes. Ah, okay. Got it. Let's try that again. Okay, you're, you're not... Just... The, the, <laughs> I guess these are um, elevators. Okay, I think I just went up. <laughs> this game's impossible. But I do notice that this spies is possessive on the screen, and the other one is uh, plural. So somebody messed up the name of the game on the uh, final ROM. No big deal. We can deal with it. St. Nick Funware. Uh, okay, it looks like there's some witches. There's some witches there. St. Nick. 
Some witches just came to the North Pole. So what am I doing? What am I doing? Okay, there's an elf. Uh, looks like the elf is scattering toys. Level one through six. Okay, that was just an attract screen. All right, good. So, uh, uh, what's going on here? So the elves, I, I'm Santa and I just, I think I picked up a ball and now I can't move. And there's a timer and there's an elf running around. Okay, there looks like the elf just dropped the ball. So whatever that red dot is, don't hit the red dot. Got it. I assume you don't want to hit the witches. Uh, okay, so there's another elf that comes out in the elf. So while the elf is at play, you're doing nothing. Elf's dropping stuff on the ground. And the witches come back and you're like, uh, I have no idea what's going on. Star Runner. Okay, see, he's there. See how that works? And he's there. Looks like he can only trap him one at a time. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Star Trek. Fancy. Entering Sector 1. Yeah, I'm not sure what this is doing. No good. Star Wars. Finally hit something. Just keep shooting. Keep shooting, Luke. See, shields are out, so I can't take any more hits. I've been doing pretty well so far. Still on level one. I don't know what level two looks like. Maybe in level two, the enemy ship starts shooting at you. Maybe. Whoa, whoa. Now we're in level two. Got more than one ship, and I'm dead. So much for the resistance. Starship Pegasus. Oof. Those guys are good shots. You can hit the ships. Nice. I'll go slow, low and inside, right. Ball. Uh, it'll be fast. We'll go J middle. Go nine for no break and throw the ball. Strike or strike. I wonder if that's the same thing as a strike. Not a baseball uh, buff. I think it's time for the seventh inning stretch. Sudoku, which to this day I still don't know how to play. Is it supposed to look like this? Wow, wow I have no idea what's happening. Did I do that on purpose? No idea what's happening. Superstorm. Key win ready. Prepare yourself, carbon unit. Okay, what's happening? Okay. Oh, I see what's happening. Okay, I see what's happening. So you're trying to... Hmm, that didn't work. I'm not entirely sure what's going on here. What's happening? So, are, it's raining? Is that what's going on here? 
Uh, alert, new superstorm. A lot of uh, lightning there. I don't understand. Speak to me, T.I. Tennis. This can't be. This can't be good. Okay. I must. I'm the black person. <laughs> that is a strong serve. <laughs> Whiff. That blue guy's terrible. If he's losing to me, you know, blue guy, you got some explaining to do. Oh, look at that. You whiffed. How could you do that, blue guy? There's all the, uh, all the ladies are not impressed with your tennis skills, but they're impressed with mine. I think I just won. Oh, it's the Us Open. I think I'm going to retire undefeated. The attack as opposed to a attack. So there's numbers showing up in boxes all of a sudden. Why is that significant? Is it the case that you're just trying to stay alive here? What's going on? Uh, I don't know what happened. Did I win? Uh, no fun at all. Okay, TI Invaders. Not going to do that. Did plenty of time on that in the other video. Let's do TI Toad. TI Toad. Looks like a frogger. What? There's nothing wrong with that leap. I had that nailed. Oops, yeah, that, that was bad. Okay, there's an alligator. Don't want to get on the alligator. Hey, got it. That's the hard one all the way on the side there. <laughs> Trying to run for it. Run, forest frog, run. Run, T.I. Toad, run. Ah, oh, man. You know, one of the things I'm noticing when I'm playing these games is that the 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 characters the the things that you're moving around they are they are a square and there's no you know, if you get that square at all overlapping with the other squares they they collide which is just a little bit more primitive than what I'm used to right now tile breaker there might be three or four unique games on this entire cartridge now there's more than that people are pretty creative with this stuff uh, it's breakaway and breakthrough. See, so, yeah, we've seen we've seen this particular uh, game before, just called something else. I think we've seen it like twice already, so this would be the third time. Let's do slow. Invisible, visible. Yep. Definitely seen that before. Whoops, and definitely had the same kind of success when I played it before. Okay, yeah. Okay, that's the difference. Breakthrough as opposed to breakout. Remember that. And not interested in playing it again. Tombstone City is D. Novice. Yeah, we've seen this one before. Okay, when you shoot the green things, they turn into cactuses. Ah, clever. <laughs> Alright, come on out here. Come on out here there, big guy. <laughs> okay. Wyatt Earp, I am not. Play the game Topper. Okay. Got to hide myself here. Okay. Good. <laughs> so apparently what's going on there is that the there's a, a disc that will just randomly disappear. 
makes it a little bit spicy. Okay, I got this one, got this one. Got this, good, good. Ah, oh, did it. Treasure Island. Okay, I'm the guy in the middle. And that didn't work. Treasure Island is not a hospitable place. I'm going to give it a one star TripAdvisor Expedia ranking. I'm not going back to that place. I'm going to go back to Sandals. Tris. T R I S. Hey, Tetris. <laughs> Imagine that. Uh, everybody's good at this game. It's hard to remember. Not a good place to put that one. Tunnels of Doom. Doom. Yeah, seen this one before. Okay. Fancy. Cassette disc or other. File error seven. Nuts. U boat. No, U boat. No, you. No, you. Looks German. That's exciting. Nothing's happening. Darn it. I just lost the war for Germany. Something just happened. Nope. Video chess. Looks like video chess. Fancy. Move white. Move black. Enter move. Too much excitement for one game. Well, let's look at Video Games 1. Video Games 1, and yep, good. Pot Shot, Pinball, and Doodle. Looks like a arcade. One Pot Shot. Enter time limit, 120 seconds. Let's do 30. Enter to start game. I this doesn't seem to be working very well. Okay, I got that bird that t or that rabbit that time. Get that rabbit again. I scored two. I am unstoppable. Do you want to play a game? No. Let's try pinball. Okay. Okay, we're going to do a breakout style there. Let's try that again. Okay, wise. Not exactly a pinball wizard. And doodle. Okay. I'm green and it's a snake game. <laughs> I think I won that one. I think that happened. Video Vegas. I'm sure this will be colorful. Okay, slot machines. Never was much of a gambler. Warzone 2. Warzone. Press down for play. Okay. Okay, now. Okay, yeah, this looks familiar. Ooh, 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 ooh. I'm not sure if I'm supposed to be hitting those buildings or not. Boy, I'm bad at that. 
Wing War by iMagic. If we know nothing else about iMagic games, they're always pretty. Lots of colors and elaborate. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? That's really nice looking. Okay, I am a uh, Black Dragon. Wumpus jogged, I mean yogged or something. So Wumpus again, I've seen a couple of Wumpuses and yogged I saw in U-Boat, uh, which was a German game. So we'll see what's going on with Wumpus yogged. There it is again. So this would be the German version. So we've got a French version, a German version, and an English version. Yep. <laughs> I'm not playing this again. This game is uh Yahtzee. I mean, people have a lot of fun playing Yahtzee. Roll. Now I'm not playing Yahtzee. Zero zap. Cute. Milton Bradley, maker of fine games for many years. Yeah, it's like pinball. Sort of. Okay, you need to avoid hitting the zeros. Interesting. 